Dear students, in this session, we will learn how to write a C program to compute an endpoint DFT of a given sequence using DSP processor. A DFT is a discrete Fourier transform. It is a one of the most important tool in digital signal processing and which enable us to compute to find the spectrum of the finite duration signal. If you see the output of the Fourier transform, it is a continuous time signal. This signal cannot be processed by a digital computer. So we need to take some sample of X of T and analyze these sample using DFT. The DSP processor is a specialized microprocessor designed to handle a digital signal processing task to perform the mathematical functions like addition, subtraction, and MAC operation at very high speed. If you see the program logic here, we have to know the formula of DFT. X of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. This e power minus j theta, we can write it as cos theta minus j sin theta. We can write it as cos of 2 pi k n by capital N minus j sin of 2 pi k n by capital N. Then we have to multiply with summation and x of n. In right hand side, we will be getting two terms. And the similar way, in the left side, we are going to split this x of k into x real and x imaginary. Then we have to separate the real component and imaginary component. If you see the real component here, the real of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n cos of 2 pi k n by capital N. The x imaginary of k is equal to minus summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n sine of 2 pi k n by capital N. After getting the real and imaginary, we have to find the magnitude by taking a square root of x real square plus x imaginary square. This x real square, we can write it as x real into x real. An imaginary component, we can write it as x imaginary into x imaginary. Then the next step, we have to find the angle by taking tan inverse of x imaginary by x real. In the next step, we are going to write the program using using the C program. You are going to compute an endpoint DFT of a given sequence. The software is a CCS studio. First, we have to execute. In the program, we have to include the header file. After including the header file, we have to declare the variable. And here, the pi is 3.14. We have to go with the magnitude, a phase, a real, and imaginary. And here, the number of sample, we are going to take it as 10. These are the inputs we are going to give. And then, we have to go with two loop, a for loop. One is the outer loop, another one is the inner loop. For both the loops, the range will be from 0 to n minus n minus 1. Then we have to calculate what is the real, what is the imaginary, and what is the magnitude, and what is the angle by using the formulas. And printf, we have to go with printing the value. For k is equal to 0, we have to go with here a floating point pi dot 3f. f is the floating point number. Total number of digits here is 5. After the decimal point, you will get 3 digits. We are going to see how we are going to execute this program. First, we have to go with the CCS project. Go to the project. Go with CCS project. Give a project name. The project type is the executable file. Take the family C6000-6748. Then we have to go with the V2 USB. And here we have to go with LCDK 6748 and select the blank document. Then we have to type the program. After typing the program, we have to save the file with the extension of .c. Then we have to go with build. After build, we can able to find out the error in the code. So 
See, after building is finished, we have to go with debug. When you're going with the debug, we have to connect the kit to the computer. Just we have to connect DSP kit to the computer. Then go to the debug. You can able to see the program. Now the kit is connected. Just we have to run the program. After running the program, here we can able to get the output. So here we have, this is the magnitude and this is the phase and this will have both real and imaginary component. This has both real and imaginary component. For each component, you're finding the magnitude and the angle. Thank you all.